So Python Arcade is a handy little Python library uh, that is great for making games. We're going to make a game. Uh, it's going to be this one or something like it anyway. Uh, the Chrome Dinosaur game, things coming towards you, you just jump to avoid them. And uh, I've started with a little bit of a template. And this is pretty much the same template that you use in every game that you make. So let's just go through the main parts of it. This bit here is the game. Uh, the other stuff is what makes the game work, but this is the game. Um, if we look down the bottom here, we've got uh, some stuff that kind of opens a window and makes it uh, work. Uh, the only things that you'll ever change down here, this is the width in pixels, this is the height in pixels, and this is the, um, the caption of the window. And let's just have a quick look at that window, shall we? We just Alt Shift F5 run the game and saved, and we get an empty blank window. Um, back to the game. So the game has got you saw uh, the color is inside this setup, this initialize function here. Uh, we're going to use this for when when we start the game. All the stuff like putting sprites in the right places and setting variables and any other setup that needs to happen all goes in here. Then the rest of the stuff goes in here. This on update, it runs every frame. So if you've got a 60 frames per second game, every uh, second it will run 60 times. And we'll, I'll demonstrate that in a second. We've also got an on draw function. And we just this is just some stuff where we say, ah, oh, these sprites draw them, these other sprites draw them as well. All right, so um, we do put stuff in here, but the main part of the game is going in this on update, and the, all the setup goes in this in it. Uh, so let's just have a look at this update running. Um, I've got this window down the bottom here, which is like our console window. I'm just going to print to it. I sometimes use print statements, the user normally doesn't see them. Um, course but this console is really handy for debugging uh, so we can see what's actually going on so control s or shift f5 to run it and we'll see it saying hello world a lot down here because it's doing it 60 times per second or however many times per second we're running um, I'm just going to go one step further just to demonstrate using the init the setup a bit here as well I'm going to create a little variable just for funsies, it's going to be self.counter and I'm going to give it an initial value of 1. And down in the on update, I'm going to put um, self.counter plus equals 1, which means just add 1 to the values already in self.counter. And I'm going to print self.counter. Whole self dot, we'll come to that in another video. Just take it as it is for now. So control is Alt Shift five, and what we should see is ah, I don't seem to have done it right because it doesn't seem to be adding one each time. What did I miss? Self dot counter equals equals one supposed to be plus equals one. Obviously, I didn't hit Shift correctly. So Alt Shift five, and. There you go, it's going up as it should do. In the next video, we'll draw something a little bit more interesting than a bunch of numbers. We'll draw on the window.